My name is Susan Melendi. I am a guardian advocate. I also have a nonprofit justice for all Florida Inc. Um, I agree with some of the statements made earlier that definitely we have to take the financial uh, incentive out of guardianship. Um, I, I always say, follow the money. It's a huge problem. Um, we're, we're, we currently wrote a bill with Charlie Crist and Nancy Mace that's going into legislative session uh, coming up. And we're advocating for some type of a guardian advocate that reaches out to the individual in the very beginning to avoid court altogether. Most people that we are involved in from an advocacy perspective have family members that take care of them and love them and are available and are healthcare surrogates. The people have advanced directives. The only incentive to put these people into guardianship is the finances and by time all of the litigation is done the money for the individual that they work for their whole life is gone and that's wrong that's not fair. that is certainly not in the best interest of the ward and that's not in uh, con conjunction with florida statute a simple law like the uh the ability to substitute for an alleged incapacitated person needs to be challenged in the second dca because a judge can simply decide Yes, I'll do that for people that I want to do it for, but no, I'm not doing it for people that are going to come in and make a difference for the ward, the potential ward, and fight for their rights. People are losing their rights. When they come in and they win for the financial rights, they'll swoop back and go after the person. When they don't even ask the person what they want, they don't even speak to the person about their wishes, and that's who needs to be heard. It's just simply wrong and we're destroying not only the lives of the elderly and the, and the most vulnerable, but their entire family. And family dysfunction is not the prerequisite for guardianship. That is just a guise. Uh, you know, not everybody's family is Ozzy and Harriet, but this, when people have advanced directives, they don't get to be thrown out. A DPO, DPOA does not get to be thrown out because there are siblings that don't agree with their parents' advanced directives or financial plans. There's always somebody that's, you know, taking the responsibility for the parent and the loved one. And most times the other siblings are, you just don't like it. That's not the, the prelude to guardianship. And it, it's used every day. Thank you very much okay. for all your consideration.